what's up YouTube, what's your waking say so and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as you always. Watch the full video. It looks like Jess and Reed are moving forward pretty fast. They did confirm that they're back together. Jess said that she's not moving in with Reed, but she did go see his family. Then recently, Reed gave her a new promise ring. Well, here's what Reed had to say about people commenting on their relationship. What you see on here is a very small percentage of our actual life. I show a lot, but what's posted on Snapchat, what's posted on TikTok is maybe 5% of our real life. I just wanted to say that. Um, because that's facts though because mind you um as a person that watches youtube and a person that does youtube you can you can see videos back to back to back to back to back and and the person who who's not a hundred percent paying attention or i guess smart whatever would think these videos literally happen every single day like monday tuesday no no these are moments out of days moments out of days these are not all back to back to back videos unless the person tells you that in the video but even then you still never know because you're not with them if you're with that person you know that person you know what they had on that monday tuesday went then then yeah you know but if not you don't know when these videos was recorded you don't know when they were uh, uploaded they can all be on a time stamp just waiting to get to get uploaded from a, a month a year before I know a YouTuber right now that's going up of old videos that he created a year ago. <laughs> I ain't gonna say our names, but hey. There's a lot of speculation about us and whatnot, um, but truly, there's very few people who actually know us really well, which is like our parents and close family members. That's it. Um, What's posted online is a very small percentage. And that's a random thought, but I just felt like I had to mention that, so, yeah. Recently, DDG and Holly Bailey went to Usher's concert. Usher has this thing during his concert where he gives girls cherries. Well, he tried to give Holly Bailey a cherry, but DDG ended up snatching the cherry. Well, during DDG's stream yesterday, he spoke of the whole situation. Here's what DJ Academics had to say about it first, and then DDG did comment on the situation as well. Yo, if Usher dropped a cherry in your girl mouth, Nah, he's seen it. He's seen it. Last second. Nah, I got it. Oh, or oh, was the mouth open before? Uh, you gotta talk to her. Nah, after watching DDG's uh, stream, she was laughing the whole time. Like, even when, mind you, the way DDG broke it down was real. Because, like, if you're really eating something, who eating with their teeth showing? Like, <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, who's really eating with their teeth open? Like, your teeth showing. Who's eating like, unless you got some some big massive teeth but no this is not that case so therefore she was laughing and even even when uh when when she when ddg fed it to her she was still in the midst of laughing home ddg ddg she should have been like this you gotta talk to her. also when you if you look at the cherry it's like he held it over he held it over and then like loki i don't know if he waited for ddg to do it but like Soon it was like it was like a, a instant time. It was like boom, like he dropped it and DDG grabbed it at the same like the same instant time. So it was like it was crazy though. Like I, like I said before on the first video, if that was me in that <laughs> in that in that moment, bro, you trying to feed my girl? Yeah, out of uh. Right to his feet, bro. Made, made him fall all on stage. The crib, bro. Nah, he was doing. Nah, DDG was sizing her face up. All right, she just giggling. You know, she, you know, she, she like one of them little happy-go-lucky girls. You know, she giggling, she giggling. Now she see what time it is. Usher got the cherry right in front of her, his face. He looking at her. He looking at the cherry, nigga. This is slow motion for DDG. He's looking. He's looking. Yo, DDG, whoever this. Nah, he was still. DDG was still looking at the cherry the whole time. Girl, right here, can't hang out with your girl no more. This is the friend that's going to encourage her to do. A Get this friend out of here. She opening her mouth, and the cherry not not even for her. Hell no. Nah. Facts. No, nah, no. Nah. Forget that she had her mouth open like like it was for her. She was surprised that DDG grabbed it. Like what? Like you you, lady, you really wanted this man to feed Hattie in front of, of bro? That is a hundred percent disrespect when she would have took that. Get her out of here, my boy. Yo, look at her. She's so mad. What? You took the cherry away? Yeah. Get your, get your Nah, give me. 
me that. G give me that. Right, he kept he kept the G. DDG for the dub. Now, as a man, like, I've been seeing a lot of videos. Now, Usher is like my homie, y'all. Like, I know Usher in real life. No, nah, me and Usher cool, y'all. I knew it wasn't nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's why when he snatched the the cherry back, look how quick his hand go. Look, look, look. That's like See? reaction time, crazy. I don't know how old Usher is, but he moved like a young. That was like lightning speed. I ain't gonna let go back. People, but that girl though, that girl, she for sure be a bit of tight to to encourage her friend to do something, knowing she's in a, a, a relationship, knowing her man's gonna find this head of disrespect. Like she's the type to to like, yeah, dude, it's okay, it's okay. He won't find out. Yeah, okay. That's probably why you're single. People talking like, oh, Usher always trying to take somebody. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just joking. Around. The girl is all about the show, y'all. It's all about entertainment. It was just all fun and games. But I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's some dudes that would have let it slide. Yeah, I ain't letting Like, as a, my, my, my masculine instincts kicked in the moment I seen the cherry. If you look back, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just looking. Well, before this, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking over there at Lil John or whatever, because he was just rapping, or Juicy J was just rapping. And then I look over, and I see a cherry instantly. Now, a lot of people were saying Hallie had her mouth open. I didn't see that part. I don't think she had her mouth open at all. You can see she's laughing. That's why her mouth was open. Look. She was laughing the whole time. She's still laughing. But I think that's because she was laughing. DDG and Chris Sales is now going back and forth. Chris Sales want to box. She was for sure laughing, laughing the whole time. And it was like she looked at him like, what, what you like, what you going to do that, he, that he's doing this? Like, she, I don't think she had a moment where I'm about to actually eat this cherry from us. DDG. But at first, Chris Sales was going back and forth with Dove because Dove reacted to the videos that Chris did speaking on Clarence and Queen. Y'all know Dove and Clarence are friends. And also, Dove has made some comments in the past on the whole Chris and Queen situation. When Deshay and Dove had the podcast, he made some comments, which Chris didn't like back then, which made them go back and forth. And then DDG ended up getting involved, which it turned into a whole big thing back then. So they always been beefing. Well, recently, Dove made some comments about Chris speaking on Queen and Clarence, which Chris didn't like so he made a video back responding which things ended up going left when Britney Dove's baby mama made a comment on Chris video which people felt like that was kind of messed up being that Chris is Dove's op yes that was, again she didn't go too far I mean she went too far because it's like this this is his op it's somebody he does not like why no if this is his homie he, he's making a joke you know all right it is what it is, but somebody, your man, your your baby daddy, your ex, the child of uh, the father of your your child, that's disrespectful. That's a hundred percent disrespectful, in, in my opinion, bro. Ops, she shouldn't have made a comment on his video. Well, here's oh. what Britney had to say. But if I could have walked away from that situation without a kid, it would have been the best thing in the world. But that is not what happened that wasn't in God's plan so yes we have a kid connected to the both of us and the only thing that I'm worried about is if my kid is happy which he is sometimes my son has his days where he's like oh I wish you and my dad were still together but then I have to reassure him that things are better without me and his dad being together so with this video I just want everybody to know like I'm happy Maybe next year I'll move to a different state. Maybe in a couple of years I'll move to a different state. Hell, who knows? Maybe I get to the point where I break my lease here and move to a different state. Right now, I am just doing what's best for my son because my son is the only person that matters in this situation. And that was the whole purpose of me coming to California was for my son. Even though things went further than what they were supposed to go, I solely Moved to California for my son. Well, here's what Chris Sales had to say because DDG did make a comment on the situation. Y'all go tell DDG get in the ring. I guarantee you he's not going to get in the ring with me. There's 630 people on here. 
if six, if all six of y'all go tell DDG, spam his Instagram right now and say, box. I think you too tall for DDG. When it comes to boxing, that plays a part. And I think you too tall. It's Chris Hills on his last post. If everybody right now on my show say box Chris Hills, I guarantee you he's still not going to do it. What DDG got to do with this? Because he, he reacted to one of my, uh, to, to something about me, like yesterday. Somebody said box Halo. I'm <laughs> crying. <laughs> Chill. I think Lil Woo Wop would box me before Dub and DDG on, bro. <laughs> Woo Wop got more heart than both of them. Lil Woo Wop. Lil Woo Wop for sure, box. Oh my soul. What are you talking about? Hey, who trying hey, who trying to see me on Zeus? I'm trying to go on Zeus and get my own TV show. <laughs> Somebody said CJ and Halo. I will not let that happen. That is that's a gap difference. I do we can do Chris and uh we can we can do Chris and Woo Wop, not Halo though. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Not trying too hard to stay relevant. It's working cause you and this motherfucker fuck you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stuff before y'all say it. That was funny. That was funny right there. Somebody said, cause you ain't nobody. And who are you? <laughs> she talking about some cause you ain't nobody. Who are you? <laughs> Get a big back. Chris, you ain't no celebrity. I don't want to be a celebrity. Who said I was a celebrity? I didn't say I was a celebrity. So in your head, in your little peewee head, you think I'm a celebrity. DDD did respond back to Chris Sales. Here's what he had to say. Why the fuck would I fight Chris Sales, bro? Yeah. I'm trying to help that, bro. That is weird, bro. What, what, like, box me. No. I think, in my opinion, he too tall for, for DDG. When it comes to boxing, that plays part. If it's a street fight, it is what it is. But boxing, no, the, the, the height plays a uh, plays a, a, a big role. Two, um, that will probably not the, not the relevant part, but that bag would help out Chris more than have, more than it would DDG. Well, no, DDG is, is still relevant, heavily relevant on YouTube. And, and does music and does whatever else he's doing. Not saying that Chris and don't have no uh no no sponsors because he's more like he probably do because he still is a well known name. But that would be a major benefit to to Chris more than the word to to, to DDG. So. What do you want your goddamn career to be? Every couple years or every year fight with move. This nigga been this nigga been been. Nobody care about you, nigga. Trying to beef with me for years, bro. Nobody checking for no goddamn. Chris sales in 2024, bro. Come on now. They need to stop. You know, I got a different respect for dads, y'all. So I don't like to be for kids and shit because I got a son and I know what it's like. And out of respect for his son, I ain't going to be for him. You know, that's what it is. Corey revealed that CJ, his son with Carmen, birthday is coming up and hopefully he gets to see him for his birthday. Yeah, look, I'm going to announce to one of us on the 11th. That's my son's birthday. That's CJ's birthday. And y'all, I need all my fans. We ain't on no negativity. Bro, can we all cross our fingers and can we all pray to God and just hope that I can see my kids on his, my, my son on his birthday, bro? Because Aiden's birthday was yesterday and I'm finna go get, pick him up tomorrow. Me and um, Danny throwing a birthday party for the kids. Her daughter's birthday uh, finna come up also this weekend. So they coming up here this weekend. So Aiden go. He said Danny? What? Oh, my tripping. Daughter birthday of in the Pick him up tomorrow. Me and um, Danny throwing a birthday party for the kids. He got to talk a different Danny. He got to talk with somebody else. My daughter birthday of in the come up also this weekend. So they coming up here this weekend. So Aiden go have a, a, a nice ass birthday party. Oh no, matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm tripping you. I'm tripping. My bad, my bad. I was confusing Danny with Maddie. <laughs> and everything. We're gonna take him out tomorrow and and Saturday. But I really want to be able to see my son on his birthday. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Danny, you know what I'm saying? Because she's the one who made sure that um I had a party and everything with her daughter. 
um, with, for my son. She was like, you know what? I want to I wanna do a party for him. I love Danny, man. She like, that's her. Bro, let me tell you, I love that woman. That woman, yeah, she, she thuggish. I love her. I hope we do get to see his son, though, for sure, for sure. Make sure y'all like him and subscribe. Go to 100K.